I got some news for some of you. This is going to be a shocker. Okay, I hate to break it to you. This is, this is going to be a bummer for some of you. But here, here you go. I'm going to tell you. You ready? There are no perfect companies out there. <laughs> no perfect boss. No perfect company. Yep, let that sink in. I hate to tell you, but nobody's perfect. And that includes all the companies on planet Earth. You know why? You know why they're not perfect? Because they're all currently ran by human beings. <laughs> not robots, at least not yet. I have listened to people complain about their job and their boss my entire life. Doesn't matter where I've been, where I've gone, what level, what size company, who the person is. I mean, think about it, right? Think about all of the friends and family you have. Doesn't almost everybody complain about their job to a certain degree or their boss, right? Everybody always complains, you know, their boss this, the boss, boss that, or marry this or marry that, or Johnny at work gets on the nerves or, you know, whatever. The company didn't, didn't do this. The company didn't do that. Everybody complains. What's my point of this rant. I'm going to tell you, here it is. Here's my point. First of all, accept the fact that there are no perfect companies. Okay. I don't care where you go. Everybody thinks the grass is going to be greener on the other side. It never is. Okay. Here's what is greener. Okay. The green color comes from whether or not you are passionate about the work itself or the industry or the product. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're an outdoor enthusiast. You love to go hiking and camping and fishing and all of this stuff. And that's your thing, right? That's your passion. You just love it. Great. Go to work for the Bass Pro Shop or one of those other giant outdoor companies. You'll probably enjoy working there. Are they the perfect company? <laughs> Will you have the perfect manager? No, probably not. Okay. But at least you'll be passionate, passionate about where you work. You'll enjoy what you're doing, even if you are working with imperfect human beings. I think that's so important to remember. Some of you are making yourselves miserable at work because you, you, you go in with this attitude like you think, why can't I have the perfect boss? Why can't I, well, why can't the company make all the right decisions every time? It just doesn't work that way. Okay. It doesn't work that way. You're not going to find any place that's perfect. I don't care where you go. You got one boss that's got, I don't know. Let's, let's say you got a boss that raises his voice. Okay. All right. That sucks. But you leave there and then you go to work for another boss that like never raises his voice, but also never compliments you ever. I mean, my point is there's going to be different things, right? Every, no matter where you go, there's going to be other shit that annoys you and other stuff that bothers you. That's a reality, okay? So I encourage you, if you are unhappy, focus on your passion around the industry and the product and the atmosphere you want to be in. Focus on that. Stop focusing on the perfect human beings around you. None of us are perfect. We all have weaknesses. We all have bad days. Every boss is going to be a dick sometimes. It, that's just how it is. <laughs> I mean, I've been managing and leading people for 30 something years. I work really hard to try to be a great leader, but am I perfect? Nope. <laughs> just call some of the Rider Flex members right now. They'll tell you all about my weaknesses. <laughs> Uh, so, so just try to remember that. And by the way, here's, here's something else. This is also important to remember. It's a key point. You're not perfect either. <laughs> I love that. What I hear, what I hear employees just sit around for hours and bitch about their boss. Oh, my boss is my boss. That I'm, I'm always look at them like, whoa, whoa, so, but you're perfect as an employee. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. Now, I'm not talking about uh, absurd situations like um, 
physical violence or sexual harassment or or discrimination, something crazy like that. Okay, that's hardcore stuff. Yeah, you got to get out of the, that environment. Okay, that's different. Let's set that aside. But in general, just the petty stuff you're bitching about, like get, get real, man. Come on, get real. Nobody's perfect. Okay, find the passion that you enjoy. Focus on it. Get into that industry or that type of product. Forget about exactly how much is making. Concentrate on whether or not you enjoy the work and you'll be much better off. And there is your Rider Flex tip of the day. Oh, 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 oh